Hello and welcome. If you're new here and we haven't met yet, my name is Brianna. I go by my skate name, Simon Slays, here on my channel, which is a helpful resource for roller skaters who are looking to progress in their skate journey. And if that sounds a little cheesy to you, basically what that means is I just make tutorials and videos passing on what I know to fellow skaters who want to learn how to do cool stuff on skates. The cool thing I'm going to teach you today is how to hand plant while you're street skating. So hand plants is essentially just when you put your hand down and you push off of that. And specifically in this one, I'm going to show you how to hand plant 180. So you're going to skate forward at something, hand plant, and then flip 180 and land rolling backwards. If you're interested in learning that trick, hang out, watch this video. I'm going to demonstrate and break it down for you as basic and easy and simple as I can. This video is a part of a series that I recently started. It is video three of seven outdoor roller skating moves you can try. Basically, I just want to pass on some trick inspiration so you have some ideas of some things you can try on skates that are fun. And these are moves that I really enjoyed. So I'm going to show you how to do that and explain it and break it down and demonstrate it for you so you can do it too. So to do a hand plant, first I'm going to break down how to place your hands and how to do the plant before we even go into it and do it skating. I think it's easier to do rolling, but I'm just gonna demonstrate how to do the hands first. So essentially you want to put your hands out in front of you first with both palms open and facing whatever obstacle you wanna skate at it. And you wanna bend your knees and stay in a little bit of a skater stance. You don't wanna be standing straight up because you do have to kind of spring and push into it. So put your hands out in front of you and then place your hands on the obstacle and you kind of want something that's at least at your waist or above. I like to hand plant off of things that are between my chest and my waist. So that's a good height range. I'm kind of taller, so I try to find things that are at least at my hip. Essentially, you want it to be a little bit under you so you can push off of it. If it's too high, you can't push off of it. You need your weight to push off of whatever obstacle you choose to hand plant on. So you wanna choose something that's not too far below you, but not too high either. If something's lower, you can always squat down more and get a little more compact so you can reach it. Similar to my last video when I taught grabs, you're not reaching down to the hand plant. I mean, you can in this case, but you really want your body to, to line up. So align your body and if you aren't aligned, you can do different things, stand a little up or squat down a little bit to make the alignment a little better for when you plant. I just saw these wooden spools when I was out filming for this video and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do it on these. These are too cool. It was just such a cool aesthetic and background. So I was just so excited when I saw those. It was so cool and unique. I had to use that as the background for the setting in this video. So aesthetics before you can finish it <laughs> in the comments. They were very firm. I did test to make sure that it was safe to hand plant off of these, but I would not recommend doing the exact same. I'm just sharing trick inspiration. I'm not telling you to go do anything that could be potentially harmful to you. Skate safe. I would suggest choosing something that is very safe and secure. Just be smart in your choices, but it does matter kind of the height of whatever you're planting on and you're going to know what's comfortable for you. I would just say, you know, you can test it out <laughs> or whatever it is. Make sure that it's at least around where your hip is to your waist. I would say that's the most ideal. But once you've done that, you skate at it with your hands out in front and you want your arms pretty straight facing the obstacle and skating at it. So once you reach the obstacle, your hands will plant first and then you're going to bend your elbow, pushing your weight on, you're planting your weight down. So your weight needs to be going down onto whatever you're hand planting on. I'm using two hands in this because I'm gonna do a 180 and that's how I'm gonna transfer my weight is using my hands and switching, switching like this. Another tip or mental trick that I would say in learning hand plants is think of it as a push-up. Your hands go on the ground and you compress towards it and bring your chest and your body towards it and bend your elbows and then you push back out. That's what you're doing with your arms and your weight is pushing down and then you're pressing off. So you're pushing off. If you're not really getting it and you're not sure how to do hand plants, you literally, you could go up to a wall <laughs> with your hands out and do a push up and then push your body off of it. That's the same as a hand plant. That's the same motion. You practice this standing, pushing off. On skates, I think it's easiest to kind of get the idea of the push off and the hand plant and then just go for it. So basically bend your knees, 
skate towards the obstacle with your hands out or extended at least allow your body get to get closer to it pushing down and onto whatever it is and then you're pushing off and so after you've compressed some you push off that is the hand plant portion and i prefer to do a hand plant 180 i feel like it's an easier way to use the momentum that you get obviously you can just hand plant and come back the same direction that you went into it but i think it's easier to transfer the weight when you do a hand plant so to do a 180 and switch directions in the middle you can do this hand plant with one hand but i would recommend learning it using both hands just the first time because it is super stable and you can kind of catch yourself either way you turn just as you're getting it down and then to do the 180 it's both hands and one hand is going to compress and push out first and then the other one you're going to kind of transfer your weight as you switch your shoulders towards the new direction and i do facing the obstacle hand plant both hands push off and then i push off with my inside hand first each time and as i do that i'm rotating my upper body my shoulder is in and then i push out and that shoulder is going out as my hips are going out and my whole body is just aligning. I hope that makes sense. The 180, if my first move that I taught in this series was how to 180 both forwards and backwards. So if you don't know how to 180, go watch the tutorial on how to 180 on roller skates and pay attention to when I'm teaching the upper body and the part about jumping. And you just have to make sure that you are actually jumping when you do this trick. So your feet need to leave the ground because you do need to know how to do that before you add the hand plant in. Essentially, you're combining the 180 movement with this hand plant. Basically for this, if you've already watched that video, all you need to know is how to do the hand plant. So make sure you watch that video first. So good luck. I know you can do this. It's a really fun move. And learning hand plants translates really well into learning different bowl tricks and skate park tricks on roller skates. So this is gonna translate very well to the park, but you can learn it on the street when you're just street skating and you can use this literally anywhere. <laughs> watch this video and you end up feeling inspired to try the hand plant 180 i love when you take me in your instagram posts this is my instagram and just at me either in your story or your post i always like those i always go to your comment i'll give you some encouragement and just love seeing that i love seeing people skating because i put out a video inspired them to try a move so if this video got you to try hand plant 180s please mention me um if you try this move i love seeing you guys do stuff that i put in my videos this is all for you and this is all just to get people skating and to have fun skating always if you have any questions or comments or difficulty learning this trick or it's just not quite clicking feel free to comment below in the comment section leave me a comment i'm happy to help you out if you need that I got you. If you liked this video, you should give it a like and let me know so that I know that you are enjoying this content and you wanna see more content like this. I'm really excited to put out the next couple of videos in this series and break down some really cool roller skating moves that you can try outdoors, give you some trick inspiration. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss those videos. And if you tap the bell icon, YouTube will actually notify you when I upload and post another video. I appreciate each and every one of you and thank you so much for being here and watching this video. Happy skating. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, Got to get the shot. Oh my gosh.